أعزائي المشاهدين أهلا وسهلا بكم في حلقة جديدة من برنامج رواد الأعمال وكما عودناكم في كل حلقة أن نستضيف رجل أعمال مميز اخترنا لكم اليوم السبيشال بزنس مان مستر أندريس لو السيلز مانجر أند أونر أوف بلاك بير لجر يافت أند بوتس رنتل Welcome, we are really happy to have you here in our show today. Thanks a lot. Thanks. Uh, Mr. Andres, we would like you to introduce yourself for our audience. Okay, we, we as Blackbeard Ledger Yachts, we provide a yacht rental service and boat rental service here in Dubai. We um, cater mainly for business functions, events, uh, birthday parties, and we mm -hmm. recently expanded into deep sea fishing experiences, mm -hmm. so we can provide a, a more ocean-wide experience to local people and tourists here Perfect. in Dubai. Uh, that's the company mm. introduction. I need you also to introduce yourself as a okay. businessman. Me, myself, um, I'm quite ambitious. Mm -hmm. Like we, That's one of the main reasons why we came to Dubai. It's a, it's a land of opportunity of and there's a lot of opportunity here with the growth, mm -hmm. growth of Dubai itself. If you just look like in the last 50 years, this year we just celebrated the 50th year yeah. and how much it has grown into a global iconic city around the world. Of course. Yeah. So when did you start up your business? Well, we've been, we've been in the business for quite a few years. Uh, but recently, like the new company was established for, mm -hmm. for about a year now, mm -hmm. and um, we've just been pushing a greater service, doing more. So, have you started your business since the beginning here in Dubai, or you started it somewhere else and then you grabbed it here and started it again, all over again here, or let's say expanded mm -hmm. the business here in UAE or in Dubai in specific? No, 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 it's actually. It's it's totally established here in Dubai. So it was started and mm. it was based here in Dubai. Basically. Based here in Dubai, yes. So the other question is, why did you choose Dubai? Like Dubai, we know that Dubai is land of uh, the opportunities, yeah. of course. But we need to know why, in specific, did you choose Dubai? There is, let's say, New York. There is uh, uh, Toronto in Canada. A lot of cities. If we started to count, we will never finish counting the no, cities sure. that are really able also to start a business there but why did you choose here Dubai well Dubai as I said before is a it's a growing city like there's only opportunity for further future yeah mm -hmm. but um, it's also it's a global international city so there's a lot of different different cultures all mixing in Dubai and again it is also a tourism hub and especially mm -hmm. for our business with the with the yachts it's mainly based on on tourists coming and exploring yes. exploring the sites and seeing yes. the beauty of Dubai. Of yes. course. Uh, as we discussed before the interview, you said about the, the competition here in Dubai. It's, it's mm. really huge. Yeah. Uh, we need to know what makes you special and different than other companies at the same field. Well, Dubai, we've got there's quite a few regulations and standards already. We, we aim to see those standards as the bare minimum. So what we try to provide is a more hands-on experience, be more there for our customers, mm -hmm. provide a better service, provi just provide more overall. We try and establish ourselves as um, the company who does it better, who does it different. Of course, yeah, yeah. of course. Uh, so what services do you provide for the customers, for the, let's say, someone who wants to have a yacht party? Mm. So what's, what are the services that are um, and that will encourage the customer to encourage deal with it. the blackbird. Well, like I said, like we like to do it more hands-on. So, for instance, if you yourself wanted to do a party, mm -hmm. we cater for everything from the food to the extra beverages you might need. Uh, we um, order or we arrange drivers to come pick up and drop off. Mm -hmm. We just want to allow the full package so there's no worry on the client. The client can just make an order and they don't have to worry about anything so else. So we have a question here for also Ms. Mr. Andres. Uh, we need to know what, what is the idea behind Blackbird? What made, what made you think that this business is the business that I want? Is it like a family business, a traditional business there back in South Africa or what exactly is the main idea behind the Blackbird? Okay. <coughs> for, I, I, I'm in the, in the UAE for, for close to 15 or close to 16 years now already. And uh, personally, I've been involved in the uh, oil and gas industry by supplying mm -hmm. explosion proof products to them. Mm -hmm. uh, a couple of years ago, we started a venture with some uh, investments into the yacht business. And uh, 
we actually saw opportunity in the market in terms of going a little bit extra. Uh -huh. uh, there's the, it's, it's one thing dealing with tourists coming to the country and they go on, on, on a range sightseeing trips and so on, but when, when, when you start to deal with other people at once, a little bit more, especially with, with all the competition around, mm -hmm. we thought that there's a gap. And uh, a, a year ago, basically, we, we formalized this company with the purpose of filling that gap of being more personal, giving people a more personal experience, mm -hmm. focusing more on what I want. Anybody can rent a yacht. Of course. <coughs> like my partner said, you want catering, we can do that. You want that, we have people at request, the men and women, the women want to get a massage during the yacht. Mm -hmm. We yeah. even arrange that. People want jet skis, they want parasailing. We have relationships with many of these service providers who whilst they're on the yacht, we we can provide a service for him or, or so already. So from A to Z? Everything, from A to Z. Everything <coughs> you need to entertain yourself at a yacht party or a yacht, let's say, a yacht trip, yes. you provide everything to the customer. Yes, members. but again, it's something any, anybody can do. Yes. Okay, but it's just the personal touch, the personal involvement, not owner sitting somewhere far away from the UE mm -hmm. and having uh, managers taking care of it, mm -hmm. but the personal interaction with the people, both of us are trained, qualified, licensed to work on yachts, and we do that. Yeah, we yeah. go with our customers. We don't leave it just to the crew to take care of them. Mm -hmm. We go and make sure everything is right and everybody leaves the, leaves the yacht happy. You know, it's tour companies, they come and go, the tourists, of okay? And again, many of this is just arranged. Many of the time people are taking a nap during the yacht trip also because they're so tired. Mm -hmm. But when you start to deal with people in the UAE also, mm -hmm. You need that, that touch, you need to make sure everybody's happy. It's not a group, it's individuals on the yacht. Yes, of course. One bad review spoils your company. That's, that, that's, that's the problem with this kind of business. It's uh, the most important thing there yes. is the reputation. And yes. uh, being at the top or reaching the top is easy, but yeah. uh, being stable there at the top, it's the hardest it's, uh, thing That's to do very hard right work, yeah. So uh, we would like also to know the vision of the company let's say for the five five or ten years it's the plan that you have already made we need the, both of you to answer this uh, together well like, like i said previously said we are very ambitious businessmen mm -hmm. so we we would like to expand to even greater greater avenues mm -hmm. For instance, we would like to be able to operate in all the marinas of Dubai right. and even expand to other other countries of the UAE as well to just give our personal touch to more clients and have mm -hmm. a more wider wider more influence range. on the market. Yeah, yeah. Of course. Mm. So this is from the businessman uh, point of view. We need to to take it from the from the Don't. experience. <laughs> mm. <coughs> well. Uh, W w when you start a business, uh, you, you have to ask yourself, am I here in this to quickly make money and mm -hmm. get out of it? Or am I here to stay until I go on retirement mm -hmm. and then have a family member continue, continue the business? This business yeah. okay? If you start with the first, you go in, you get the money, you don't care, take, run back to your home country, go and build your mansion there or whatever and so on. If you're in for the long haul, and that's your vision, it's like I've explained before, you have to focus on individual mm -hmm. service and keep the focus there, and keep on innovating because people change. These days we do, we, 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 we tell like Alexa, find me this, find me that. Yes. Okay, but, but even we have AI, we have Alexa's all this stuff and so on, there's still a person behind it. And Alexa is not coming on a yacht. Alexa is yes. not the one that, making use of the service. Yeah, of course. So even with all this technology that's going around that keeps on developing, we have to keep on focusing on the human aspect. Mm -hmm. Generations different. If I, if, if I just compare music to stuff that the young generation is listening to it's now, totally what I'm listening to. Yes, totally but, but we have to cater for all of it. Of if course. I don't like her, <laughs> You'll need to I, I have to leave yeah. that at home. Oh, yeah, I have to leave that at home. At the end yes. of the day, everyone should yes. adapt with the technology, with the music mm -hmm. and everything. So, so our, our vision is to keep adjusting, <laughs> keep on changing as people's demands are changing, as generations are changing, because we're in for a long haul. We're not here to make a quick buck and run back home. 
I intend to retire in UAE. He is still much younger, so he's, he's, he, 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 he doesn't want to go back home. This needs to continue for even his children. Yeah. Yeah. No, we want that's, to leave a lasting really, imprint yeah, that's, here. That's, that's really good, yeah. especially when you, when you see that kind of business that will be at the end of like, let's see, 50, 60 years. Yes. You will be very proud of your yeah. sons and your yeah. grandson. Every, everyone will be really proud of their uh, leader, let's say. Okay, of course Dubai is one of the safest city in the world. Safety and, se and the That's security right. here in the UAE uh, is uh, one of the major, let's say, uh, things that uh, grab investors here and make them start their business there, yeah. uh, here in the UAE. So uh, we want a short, let's say, a brief uh, story. Why did you, like, how does the security and safety affected you to come here in Dubai and how this will affect your, let's say, the generations that will be coming here and trying to open their business here in the UAE. It's a, one of the main attractions of Dubai is obviously the safety. Mm -hmm. the, like you feel comfortable in South Africa, or in Dubai, like compared to South Africa, where I'm not trying to badmouth my own country, mm -hmm. but like it is, a, it's a bit more volatile environment. It's a big difference. Yeah, it's a bit, it's, big it's, difference, it's, yes. Yeah. For instance, here you can you can walk around at night and, and be safe. And that's all thanks to the government. The government and the police force, they play a big role in making sure. And they use like the latest technology possible on the market to make sure everything everything is safe here in Dubai and you stay safe as someone from another country. Mm -hmm. So money is safe here, people are safe here. Mm -hmm. and, it, and it's a big, big regards to the government itself. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, how does this affect you? While were you thinking to come here in, let's say, 60, you, you said yeah. that you came here like 16 <coughs> years ago. Yes. So how does this affected you and how, what, what did you think first, like before you come to the GCC? Let's be honest, like people all, are always afraid like mm. to invest their money in a country that mm. they don't know. So how does this affect you and let's say uh, allowed you to come here and start up here in the UAE, in Dubai in specific because you started Yeah. Uh, as he mentioned, we come from a country where the uh, the situation is a little bit different. Mm -hmm. Again, all around the world, you've got countries with different situations and so on. Where uh, it it, it, get, it comes to the point where you decide you you are not a criminal, but you have to lock yourself up in jail <laughs> to yeah. protect you from criminals, course, or yeah. you escape. Yeah. Okay, and uh, UAE was uh, a wonderful option. Yes, we have many times political instability in the Middle East and so on. But if you look at the track record of the UAE, they've always been stable, stable, uh, never involved in any of these situations mm -hmm. that that, that happened here. The, yes. the the leadership of this country is uh, uh, amazing and keeping politically stable and safe with everything else that's going on here. Of course. And with, sorry, just to emphasize what you're saying, and, and, and the same for the, the policing in this country. Yes. We, we can do business here, we can go to the street, we don't have to worry. Okay? They are on the brink always of new technology uh, for, for helping to keep us safe, helping to quickly get rid of unwanted elements that's, that's causing trouble yes. and making it unsafe and so on. So they've, they've been doing a great work for how many years and uh, the, the basis has been set foundation is there for us just to the continue going in future. Yeah. Yes. Of course. Yeah. Uh, of course, Dubai in specific and UAE in general has reached this level of safety and security because of the great vision of their rulers. Yes. We'd like also to give a big thank you for His Highness Sheikh Mohammed bin Rashid Al Maktoum and all the UAE rulers for that great vision. Uh, it was an honor having you here today in our show. We would like all you also to tell our audience uh, where they can find you are, how can they reach Blackbird? Well, we're live on all the social media. Um, you can visit our website, www.blackbeard.ae, mm -hmm. or you can see us on Instagram, blackbeard, black.beard.yat. We are quite 24 seven, so we're quite active. We respond to any call, any need. If you just want to inquire about yachting, like we're there to provide the service. Of course, any, uh, all the details will be shown down the screen. إلى هنا أعزائي المشاهدين نختم حلقتنا المميزة لهذا الأسبوع تابعونا كل جمعة وسبت each Friday and Saturday on your channel 
ABC العربية دمتم بخير وفي أمان الله